I'll just go ahead and leave a disclaimer here to put in the beginning of the video. You see that the title of this video is, that is what the video is going to be about. Um, so if you know me, if you're family, here is your warning to click off now. The video gets graphic. I do show stuff, um, mainly blood. This is your final warning. too complicated go, go. ow it just popped before it went in and it hurt real bad either I can't do this or I, I am determined to get this right I used my first tampon a couple months ago at the age of 24 and I'm trying not to get emotional First of all, Happy New Year. I'm not sure what time of year you guys are watching this. Uh, for me, where I am today, it is January 3rd, 2024. And um, as you guys see by the title, this is a very different video for me. It's gonna be a vlog. I will be showing blood. I will try my best to censor it. If I'm, unfortunately the cup is black. So I, I wish it was clear it would be easier for me to censor it but if I can't censor it then you know what type of video you clicked on I am not caring about any ill that's gross comments this you shouldn't be showing this it's way too in, intimate way too personal as for me I don't feel shame um with making this video because this is a full circle moment for me to in as far as period collection from I'm just checking my gas um because I'm in my car from where I started from, like, just to be frank, y'all, I'm 25 years old. I just turned 25. I literally just found my vagina a couple months ago at the age of 24. I used my first tampon a couple months ago at the age of 24, and I'm trying not to get emotional. Y'all see how deeply personal this is for me? This is a very vulnerable video for me to make. And I'm not emotional because I'm scared or I feel bad or ashamed or anything like that. Thank God. It's emotional because I've come from such a long way. Like, I remember the first time I tried to use a tampon, I was on a cruise. I had actually already had my period before the cruise. So I was thinking, okay, you know, I'm not going to get my period while I'm on the cruise. I literally just had my period. Maybe, oh my God, my eyes burned. <sighs> You cannot cry with the sunscreen that I use on your face, y'all. Baby, that junk be burning. But, and I'm not going to cry. Um, there's people around and they're staring at me, but whatever. This is my testimony to tell and this is my car, okay? I bought this car. So, yeah, that's another testimony. I bought a car last year. See, God is just really, he's really doing the work in me. But anyhow... All my life, I have used pads. I got my period, I want to say, when I was around 11 or 12. And I was so naive about periods. Again, I just found my vagina a couple months ago. At the age of 11, when I would hear people say stuff about tampons, I would literally think that they would go, that the tampon would go in between the lips like a hot dog goes in a hot dog bun. So, like, this is the hot dog bun this is the tampon i would literally think it went in like this and not like that that was my thought process obviously i was wrong i never had any intention or desire to use a tampon until like i said a couple months ago i was in swim lessons i kept wanting having this desire to learn how to swim um, because i have a fear of drowning I have a fear of drowning. I have a fear of, I mean, they're rational fears. Like my only fears is stuff like drowning, suffocating, choking choking to death. I don't know. So yeah, I started swim lessons. Unfortunately, I got my period during that time. And I remember talking to my grandmother and she was like, "Are you? how's your swim lessons going? And I was like, well, I got a couple more classes this week, but I think I'm gonna have to miss them. And she was like, why? And I said, because I have my period. She was like, oh, you can go swimming with a tampon. And I was like, well, you know, I'm scared to use tampons. And she was like, why are you scared? 
and and she you think it's gonna hurt and i said yeah she, she assured me it's not gonna hurt all you have to do is insert put it in your vagina it doesn't hurt you just push it back up far enough to where you can't feel it and go on about your business well the information was not enough for me because the first time i tried a, a tampon was five years ago i was on a cruise at the time my very first ever cruise i had gotten my period like a week or two before so i just knew i was good but what happens with me tends to happen with me is when i am stressed i can get two periods a month brought on by stress so yeah y'all try to keep the stress at a minimum it can definitely affect you in many kind of ways so yes so here i am on the cruise sharing this room with four other women at this time i believe i was 19 maybe and <clears throat> i wanted to still be able to do my excursions they were paid for at that point people and i did not pay for them my mom paid for them so she was gonna be pissed if i missed out on my stuff because i could not put this tampon in i could not put this tampon in because of what i believe is vaginismus in other words tightening of the muscles due to trauma and fear which will physically not allow insertion and so yeah that's one and two like i said all these women around me that knew how to use tampons and nobody told me you have whenever you want to insert something into the vagina you have to insert it towards the small of the back insert it towards your bottom i was trying to go straight back instead of down at an angle and that's i kept hitting the wall and i think that was why because you cannot go straight like that or straight up the vaginal canal goes back towards the small of the back i was obviously very traumatized by that i mean i don't know if it's obvious or not but i was traumatized by that experience it did not work out for me and then my mom had to buy me pads on the cruise and boy oh boy was she pissed she was so mad with me and i felt so bad she wasn't happy with me and she made it known like when we went to go get the pads on the cruise she wouldn't talk to me i think they were like eight dollars so not a super huge markup but she was so mad that she had to buy those uh, pads and we had what's called cruise credits sometimes when you book a cruise you can you have something called cruise credits which is basically money that the cruise line gives you to spend on a cruise but i guess she wanted to spend it at the casino she was pissed and then i cried about it i just felt so bad so that's why i got emotional towards the beginning of this video and then a couple years later i would say maybe when i was yeah a couple years from 19 will be 21 i tried again i don't know why i, I must have wanted to go swimming or something and i couldn't do it and i went in my mom's room and because I'm, I'm still live at home i've lived at home that entire time but i still live at home working on that that'll be another video and i asked her to help me she did not want to she's kind of squeamish about body parts having to look at somebody else's badge or crack or having to help with that type of thing she's not the one to go to for that and um it just is what it is i'm not mad about it i can't say i feel some type of way about it that's just how she is and she said something that kind of cut me to my core it really hurt me and upset me and i remember i cried i walked off and i was just crying so hard she was like and I'm looking up so that I don't cry. She said to me, um, how will you ever get married and have sex or have a baby? And it hurt me, but I, I recognized it as truth. It was the truth. I was just afraid. I don't know why. Maybe an irrational fear. I have had things happen to me in my past. So that could be related to the trauma that I had when it comes to um, my vaginas i can wash in the shower just fine but inserting anything like that is, is a sore it's a, it's a sore topic for me so please be kind under this video that's my story how i kind of came full circle only other thing i want to mention is a couple months ago when i put on my first tampon successfully i remember that day i was so down and out that i couldn't do this and i was so frustrated that i was going to have to miss the swimming lessons that i was paying for that i could barely even afford to pay for and i cried out to god not literally because i was so mad i wasn't even in a place to cry i wasn't sad i was just i was angry i felt some type of way and i just talked to god and i was like why can't i do this thing 
And I asked God, I said, please help me to be able to do this today. And I don't know, I'm a visual person. So I, I watched some YouTube videos. I did a whole lot of research. What helped me the most was learning that I could not insert something straight back and that I had to make more so insert it like I was pointing it towards the small of my back, straight in. Other thing I learned about my body in that process before I got to this point, and hallelujah, glory to God, let me stop before I even move on. Because like I said, I asked God specifically, that's how I knew he did that for me. I asked God specifically, please help me to be able to do this this day. I went home, I opened the tampons, and I inserted one for the first time successfully. So I knew that was God removing that fear and that barrier, that mental barrier that I had in my mind. So one thing that I learned and one thing that's important specifically when it comes to menstrual cups is how long your cervix is. And what I learned from inserting a tampon, because with tampons, the instructions say to push it back as far as you can, as you can get it so that you don't feel it. And you just pull it out by the string, of course. But for me, I learned that I have a high cervix. And how I figured that out is I was pushing a tampon, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. And it wasn't stopping. I didn't feel a wall. And that wall that you will feel when you're putting something in is your cervix. I never felt my cervix. So that tells me that I have a very high cervix. In other words, a menstrual cup doesn't have that string to assist you in taking it out. So that being said, for a menstrual cup, you want to have a menstrual cup that has something that can help you, aid you in pulling it out, specifically linked to it. So that is not so small that it goes all the way up your cervix and you have a hard time reaching it. Because it's, it's usually like the size, the length of a tampon, so usually pretty short. So the menstrual cup that I am trying today is the Flex Full Fit Cup. And another thing, while I got the Full Fit, it's a beginner's cup. I'll show it to you guys. They have a Slim Fit and a Full Fit. It's, the Slim Fit will be a little bit smaller in diameter than the Full Fit. But I got the Full Fit because the smaller the cup is the more likely it is to ride up in you um, and suction on to your service. Like one of those toilet plunger, not plunger. Yeah, is it called a plunger? I think it is. One of those toilet plunger things and I heard that is very painful. So I got the full full fit so that even if it does ride up, it does not suction on to my cervix. So let's just say this is the width of my cervix right here. The circumference of my cervix. The cup will go around it, but it won't suction to it. So. It takes away an element of pain. I'm not fearful of the diameter being a little bit wider than the slim fit because a vagina can push out a whole baby, like a whole body. And granted, I know that while I'm doing this, I'm not gonna be in labor, my cervix, nothing is dilating, nothing is really moving around, but I'm not scared. I don't feel any type of anxiety and I thank God about that because Lord knows in the past, I have had so much anxiety over this. So. On to Target, very long intro for those of you who care to hear my story, my testimony, how I got here, um, there it is. And that's why we're here today. We're gonna put it in together. Um, if I can put it in, I'm gonna try my best. And if I have to ask the Lord again to give me strength and to help me with it, that's what I'll do. Um, once the, you can wear it for up to 12 hours, which is fantastic. Those with a vagina know, menstruating vagina, you know how convenient that is to not have to think about it every four hours and I have not to have to check I don't have to wear nothing to bed but panties tonight and if I don't want to if I got a correct seal and I don't even have to wear those I don't know why but for me personally when it comes to my period that'd be the time I don't want to wear no drawers I don't know why that don't make no sense but um usually I do have a bowel movement in the morning that is relevant because it kind of helps to, if the cup has risen up in my very high cervix again i can't reach my cervix like i can push and push and push or either that or i have small fingers i don't know that i have small fingers i think my hands are average but what helps the cup come down if it rides up far is bearing down naturally you don't want to push down because you don't want to cause any prolapse prolapse refers to something falling out of your vaginal opening that can happen um and also if I'm just kind of throwing things out there as I think of them. 
if you have a fear of it getting lost inside of you, even me with the high cervix, it cannot get lost inside of me because the cervix, like I say, is the, it's the wall to the vaginal canal. It does have a hole for, you know, blood and stuff to come out, vaginal secretions. It does not get big and dilate unless you are in active labor. That tiny hole is what stops anything from going up further. However, it can still go up too far for me to reach. So if that happens, what I'll do, um, calm down for one. Don't let those muscles get the best of you. Don't let your mind get the best of you. They said as far as breathing, you can breathe as like you're trying to fog up a mirror. So like that. Deep, heavy breaths, low squatted position. And I do have a stool. I don't have a squatty potty. I got a stool from Five Below because that's what my money could afford to help me with bowel movements. And yeah, bowel movements are something where your body naturally bears down and that will help to move the cup down, to push it down out of the vaginal canal. If I have an issue reaching the, um, I got the flex cup and like I said, it's a beginner cup. I'll show you guys. It has a, like a hook. So where you can go in and find the hook and do that to release the suction and kind of pull on it and wiggle it back and forth gently so that you don't break it and then go ahead and pull it on out. Once I've pulled the cup out, I am going to show how much I've collected just because I believe there's a misconception with pads and tampons, which we will prove true or false when it's time for me to, when it's time for me to take it out and show you guys how much blood was collected in it. I don't know how easy that's gonna be um, because the cup is black and blood is dark. Um, so where was I going with this? Lord Jesus, I don't lost my thought. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take it out with you guys um, or on camera, show how much it collected because I believe there is a misconception when using pads and tampons that we bleed a whole bunch. And I don't think that is the case. A tampon not only absorbs your blood, but it's absorbing all of the moisture that is in your vagina, all of your vaginal secretions and dis any discharge in the vagina. So your cup is not really absorbing, it's just catching. And another thing with the cup that I like, that's un uh, unlike a tampon, you don't have to push it far up into the vagina. It sits low in the vaginal canal. It can ride up, but you don't have to push it up. You just literally put it in and let it be. It's made from medical grade silicone. Um, you will boil it for your first time using it and put it inside of a wire whisk to boil, not a wire whisk, it, it can be a silicone whisk. You just put it inside a whisk to boil it for five minutes to sterilize it. And then um, between changes, you just rinse it out with cold water. You can use a very mild soap. If you wanna use soap to clean it out before reinserting it and in between periods. So once this period is done, I will boil it once again and put it away to the next period or until my salt, salt cup comes. We gonna talk about prices too, but I don't wanna make this too long. Let's go get the cup and talk about all that when I'm inserting it. Okay, y'all, I am at Target. I am in the drive up right now. I hope the man don't think I'm recording him because this is a person in front of me. Yes, I am here. Um, I'll show you guys the box when I get it. Okay, so it is definitely time. Um, here is the box. For those of you who are curious, you can pause if you need or want to to see all sides of it. It also comes with a bonus, which is nice. So I am about to take it out of the package. It has instructions on here. It says your cup could use a refresh. Um, instructions for use. And here she is. So first step is to boil this to sterilize it. And then we're going to go get in the shower. Okay, here it is boiling, and I just put it inside of a wire whisk so that it can't burn. The instructions do say that if it sits on the bottom of the pan, it can burn. And these things cost too much, so yeah. Just boil it for five minutes. I just put mine in a wire whisk. It's never been used. Um, as far as the next times, so I'll just pour boiling water over it in a cup that is specifically for this. So I'm not going to boil it on the stove again or put it, you know, anywhere else that would cross mingle it with something that's going to be used 
in the kitchen again so yeah okay so as promised i did want to go ahead and talk about the price of the menstrual cups and i say cups because i did end up ultimately purchasing two the black one that i'm trying here in this video it is called the flex full fit beginner's menstrual cup i purchased it at target it was thirty dollars and the other cup i purchased is by salt it is the salt soft cup in the size regular um, that one was just under $25 because I did see where they had a promo code if you download the app. That promo code at the time was app15. That did get me 15% off the regular price of $30. And like I say, with shipping and everything, buying it online from Salt, I paid right at under $25. So the shower was a fail. Um, I didn't rinse off. Dang it. I forgot to wash my hands. Now I gotta go re sanitize the cup. Okay, I'm back. Oh, that was actually our first step clean hands, clean cup. And now the cup's a little bit warm. Undecided on which fold to go with. I think I'm gonna try the, that looks too complicated. I think I'm gonna go with the punch down fold, which is this fold right here. I've washed my mirror off, here it is. And I have another mirror over there, but I don't wanna flash you guys. Yeah, I am in seated position watching this back i can tell you exactly why i was making that face that mm -hmm. thing is big and it is not soft come on you can do this so i think i'm gonna have to lay down completely in order to be comfortable and not ruin my gown so yeah there's already blood on my fingers so not going I am determined to get this right so far no such look Lord please help me It just popped before it went in and it hurt real bad. Either I can't do this or I can't do this on camera. So we'll have to do an update. Oh. On to try number who knows. So I just recorded a whole clip and I just realized it's gone. Like, it wasn't even recording, but basically, as you can see in my face, maybe, maybe not, I've accepted defeat. Um, yeah, and I did say you were going to see some stuff in this, so here's the cup. Um, I had so much hope. I'm disappointed. I kind of feel like I failed again, but at the same time, this cup is, it looks soft, but it's not soft, and it was painful. I was using the punch down fold to make the narrowest point of insertion. So like that, a lot of people say the C fold is easier. 
C fold is where you just fold it in half like this. But that that looks bigger to me and I I just I can't. So I was trying this one. Because the cup is not um soft and it's kind of firm, we get to right here and then it will start to pop open and my fingers could not like sh like shaking, trying to keep it closed like this. And then it will pop open right near the opening because this right here is still very close to the opening. Y'all y'all can hear it how hard it pops. There's another um fold method of insertion called the C fold. This doesn't look comfortable to me. So that's why I, see you all hear that? That's why I went with the punch down. That hurt and I couldn't push it at, at that point. So I guess I'm gonna have to put on a pad. I need to put on something because I've just been here for the last what twenty minutes trying um with nothing, so <sighs> Okay, so it is editing me and watching this back, I had no right to be so hard on myself. Where's the cup? I have it somewhere. Here it is. I tried again the next day off camera and just realized this cup is not right for my body or for my anatomy. It is just too big. Like, there is a Goldilocks cup out there for me and I should honestly be proud of myself. I am very proud of myself that I'm reach this point to where I could try without fear so another reason why I wanted to uh, insert this clip I am still on my period I'm at the tail end of my period but my salt soft cup came today and for anyone who is curious it does come in an unmarked package this is just duct tape to cover my name and my address but other than that this is the box completely unmarked I mean it does say salt right there and I was so excited when I got it. I was like a kid on Christmas Day. I was like shaking up the box. But my very next steps um, after adding this clip to the video and posting it is to go ahead and take this bad boy out. Boil it, read the instructions. Because at this very moment, I am free bleeding. Um, I took off my pad and was like ready to get this thing on. Because I've ruined my panties and my pads and... My sheets, they're in the washer now. I don't know. I share a um, wall with the laundry room, so I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I'm just over that. I got some new white sheets, so that'll be part of the Salt Soft video. Um, if this one does good, leave feedback too. If it was too long, let me know. If you liked how detailed I was, please let me know. Also, please engage, share feedback, um, like, comment, subscribe. This is not my first YouTube journey. I've had a channel since 2012. This is not it. This is a new channel. This is my very first video on this channel. But again, I'm starting over because my content kind of falls to the wayside. It doesn't reach the algorithm because I just, I don't, I don't quite have that reach. So please, if you found this video helpful, subscribe, like, comment. It's free. I'm cool. I'm down to earth. I comment back. As y'all probably can tell in the video, I'm not, you know, I'm not one of them. So yes, God bless you guys. Um, if you want to see the salt, ah, Lord Jesus, let me just go. She's the late bloomer tales, baby.